if peak oil happens and people don't understand what's going on, it could very easily be a global tipping point. It is basically every bit as serious as thermonuclear war. We thought that was really serious. Now, you could argue that was silly. We spent 50 years worrying about that and we never had one. I would argue maybe one of the reasons we never had one is that we worried about it for 50 years. It's going to be a dramatic, catalytic event for the human family. We're heading for the cliff at, at 80 miles an hour and the brakes are out. The four horsemen of the apocalypse, war, famine, pestilence and death. It will be painful, and it will be very disruptive, and it will revolutionize the way that we live. In a period of hundreds of millions of years, with enormous pressure and heat, the Earth formed petroleum from decayed living matter. And in less than 150 years, by many estimates, we have bled the planet of roughly half of its oil. We have extracted roughly one trillion barrels of oil since the late 19th century. Most of that oil has been consumed by Western societies, and it has been, arguably, the basis for the enormous power and wealth of Western nations. Now, most of the remaining oil on Earth lies underground in less industrially developed countries. In order to get that oil, and to get it as cheaply as possible, Western companies have devastated environments and caused terrible human suffering. People in Western societies are largely unaware of the harm caused from oil extraction. We are unaware because it goes unreported. Now we are confronted by the prospect of world peak oil. Peak oil is the point in time where the quantity of petroleum extracted from the earth begins to irreversibly decline. As fossil fuels are so deeply intertwined in our existence, particularly our food production, the results could be catastrophic, especially in the face of rapidly rising oil demand. And as oil becomes scarce and prices rise, the environmental destruction and human suffering will likely increase. And the competition for oil will get more aggressive. One of the most common questions that people ask is, do you think that the peak oil that you write about is gonna produce a global catastrophe? And my answer is, it already has. There are people dying right now as we're speaking. There are people dying right now over oil. There are governments being twisted and changed and seized over oil. The climate is changing because of oil. 
And there's a small group of very, very wealthy people who are getting richer and richer because of oil. Energy derived from fossil fuels has been the source of the incredible growth of the human population. It may be the single greatest impact fossil fuels have had on the planet. You can trace the human evolutionary success in terms of the rates at which we've been able to appropriate energy from our environment. There's virtually no human population growth for, let us say, 50,000 years prior to agriculture. But with agriculture, we began to modify entire landscapes, replacing other species with food crops that we wanted for ourselves. And the human species spread over the planet in greater and greater numbers. Then something happened a couple of hundred years ago, actually a little, little bit more. We started using uh, coal to, to burn, to release energy. And therefore we were able to cut down the forests, which had been a fuel source before, and replace them with fields where we could grow food. We increased the food, we increased the number of people. By 1800, we hit our first one billion people. So all of human history, all several hundred thousand years of modern human history, to produce that one billion people in 1800. Now we're starting to get really efficient at the use of ancient sunlight. In fact, we found a more transportable form of it, oil. In 1867, Colonel Drake drilled the first successful oil well in Titusville, Pennsylvania. The second billion people took only 130 years, 1930. The third billion took only 30 years, 1960. The fourth billion took only 14 years, 1974. The fifth billion, 1987. And the sixth billion, 1999. So we've seen this explosion of population and it's been fueled by the, by the availability of fossil fuels. As population rose, so did consumption levels, driven mostly by Western industrialized nations. Our dependence on petroleum grew to roughly 1.3 trillion gallons per year along with our dependence on an equal amount of energy from a combination of coal and natural gas. That amount of oil, stacked in five-gallon containers, would reach to the moon over 250 times in a single year. I calculated that in a single person's life in this country, you will be confronted at one time or another in your life to about 30,000 different items that have a very intimate connection with fossil fuels. We don't have time to enumerate the 30,000 items, okay? But they are there, from the light fixtures to the paint in your house to the pesticides, insecticides, the fibers, the fabrics, Hard valves, composite material, aircrafts of the future, vehicles of the future, the list goes endlessly. 